what's going on guys and welcome back to the Goulds Gaming and Tech channel today I'm going to show you exactly how to unlock your iPhone's full potential with these hidden iOS 16 features iOS 16 has been around for nearly half a year but it seems like there are always new features and settings to discover on your iPhone they may not be as popular as the main features but these lesser known features are worth exploring because they can totally upgrade your iPhone experience but before we get into that, if you are new to the channel and this content is any what helpful to you, make sure to hit that subscribe button, it's definitely appreciated. And if you're new or returning, make sure to hit that like button on your way in or out. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So the first feature we're going to touch on is the ability to view and share saved Wi-Fi passwords. Apple has allowed iOS users to share Wi-Fi passwords for a while now, but only by placing the two Apple devices near one another. So if you go into settings and you go to Wi-Fi and tap the tiny information icon to the right of the network that you want the password for, to view the network password, just tap the password section and then use face ID or enter your passcode to view it. You can then tap copy to copy the password into your clipboard and share it. Now the next feature is find and remove duplicate photos and videos. Maybe you have some saved photos or pictures and you have them saved in your phone multiple times or from a download of a video or picture more than once, resulting in duplicates littering up your photo album and taking up space on your phone. So this feature in iOS 16, you can go into photos and then go to albums. You should see a new duplicates album under utilities. Apple scans through all of your photos and shows you and any photo or video that you have saved more than once in that album. From there, you can either delete any duplicate or simply press merge, which will keep the photo with the highest quality and relevant data, and then move the others to the trash. Now, the next feature is hanging up the phone or FaceTime call with Siri. Siri does a lot of things, and you can use virtual assistant to send text message, get directions, or play music but the only thing that she has never been able to do is hang up a phone call. So if you go into the settings, go to Siri and search and first make sure listen for Hey Siri is toggled on. If it is on, you should see a new option underneath says call hang up. Go into that option and toggle on call hang up. When you're on the phone or a video FaceTime chat, simply say Hey Siri and ask her to hang up that current call. Now the next hidden feature is pairing a Nintendo Switch Joy-Con with your iPhone. For a while now, Apple has allowed you to pair third-party controllers like the PS5, Sony DualSense, and Xbox Core to your iPhone or iPad in order to more comfortably play video games like the Apple Arcade Library, Minecraft, or Call of Duty. Now you can add another console controller to that list. To start that, you will hold down the little black pairing button on the Joy-Con until the green lights start running back and forth. This means that the device is ready and in pairing mode. Next, you would open your iPhone and go to settings, then go to Bluetooth, and then select Joy-Con from the list. And you will repeat this step for the other Joy-Con, and there you go. All right, now the next hidden feature is the hidden or recently deleted albums are now password protected. The hidden album in the Photos app is clearly not hidden, seeing as anyone can easily find it just by clicking on your gallery. Now, that makes it impractical for adequately hiding private photos or videos. While Apple does have an option to make a hidden album invisible, anyone with access to your phone can make it visible again and view everything inside of it. Now, thanks to iOS 16, you can now lock the hidden album. You don't actually need to do anything to toggle this feature on. If you want to check it out, you would launch your phone apps or go to the albums tab at the bottom of the screen. If you scroll down, you will see a tiny lock next to the hidden and recently deleted albums. To view the content inside of those albums, you will need to use Face ID or your passcode. Now, the next hidden feature is copy and paste photo and video edits. If you use the editor tool in the Photos app, you will be happy to learn that you can now copy and paste edits, including saturation, contrast, brightness between photos. If you edit one photo or video and you are happy with that look, you can paste those same exact edits to other photos or videos in that camera roll. So to do this, you will launch the Photos app and open the photo that has been edited in full screen. Next, you would tap on the three dot menu to the top right corner and then hit copy edits. This option will only appear if the photo has been edited within the photos. 
finally you will go to the photos you want to copy these edits over and tap the three dot menu and then hit paste edits after a second or so you should see the photo edits appear now the next hidden feature is bringing haptic feedback to your keyboard now the iPhones have long had haptic feedback. It's what you feel underneath your fingertips whenever you attempt to delete an app from your home screen or enter the incorrect password on your lock screen. Strangely enough, this haptic feedback was not available in the stock iOS keyboard until now. So if you want to enable this, you would just go to settings, go to sounds and haptics, go to keyboard feedback and toggle on haptic. The sound option you will see is the loud and annoying crackling sound you might hear when you type in something or your phone isn't on silent mode so you can keep that disabled. Next hidden feature is pin your tabs in Safari. Now Safari caps your open tabs to 500 and if you're nearing that limit it might be pretty darn hard to find exactly what tab you're looking for but there's an easier way now with iOS 16. So in Safari if you press down to open a new tab and you have the option to hit pin tab this will move that tab to the top of safari where it will exist in a tiny tab preview permanently pinned there which you can then tap to view now if you press down and unpin that tab it will move to the first in your grid to open tab. All right, next thing on the list is use face ID while you're lying down. Now, if you've ever tried to unlock your iPhone while it's vertical, like when you're lying on your side, you might have noticed that it doesn't work. You have to place your iPhone in portrait mode orientation, or you have to be upright for that face ID to work. Now with iOS 16, you can use that in landscape or in portrait mode. Next feature on this list is copy your screenshots to your clipboard without saving them. So you don't need to save a screenshot to the photo album to share it with anyone else. A new iOS 16 feature allows you to take screenshots, copy it to your clipboard, delete it from your phone and paste it where you see fit. Now, after you take the screenshot, tap the screenshot preview that appears, hit done on the top right corner and then tap copy and delete to copy the screenshot or to clipboard it. Now, the next feature on this list is remove more pre-installed Apple apps. Now, since iOS 10, you've been able to remove some pre-installed iOS applications like Stocks, Map, and Calculator, but not all of them. Now, with iOS 16, you can add three or more apps to this list that you can remove, Find My, Clock, and Help. However, deleting these apps can negatively affect and break support with other apps connected to these devices like your Apple Watch. Now, the next feature on this list is the ability to edit and unsend messages. I know you get those embarrassing or annoying typos or autocorrect that you sometimes send when you're not intending to send that exact thing. Now, in iOS 16, you are able to edit and unsend messages. Now, on the receiving end of that, whoever you're sending that message to, they will be able to see that you've edited it or unsent a message. So it kind of defeats the purpose, but you still have that ability should you choose to use it. Now, to use this feature, all you do is press and hold on the message you just sent. It will give you a drop down menu and you will be able to edit it or unsend it. Now, it's within a certain time frame. I believe it's about 15 minutes. Now, that's plenty enough time for you to retract or to edit what you've already sent. Now, the next feature on this list is a new customizable lock screen. I think this is the most common iOS 16 feature that is out. Just press and hold down on your lock screen. You can simply swipe left or right to select different styles. Each style changes in color and filter and background photo. And you can also change the font on that lock screen so everything complements one another. And with that, you can also customize the widgets on the lock screen. Now, the next feature on this list is notifications and live activities. Sometimes notifications can cover up your lock screen's photo, so iOS 16 moves notifications to the bottom of your display as you receive them instead of being compiled into a list and it's showing vertically on a carousel. This not only looks better, but it should be a big help for one-handed use for the iPhone. Now, another iOS 16 feature is wallet and Apple Pay Later. ID cards from most states will be available in your wallet along with more security and privacy features. So in iOS 16, you can also protect your identity and age. So rather than showing your exact birth date, the wallet app will display your ID and that you're over 21. And also 
Apple Pay will support new types of payments and adds a new feature called Apple Pay Later. It lets you split the cost of an Apple Pay purchase into four equal payments spread over six weeks with zero interest and no fees. Now that's going to be all for this list so far. There are plenty more iOS 16 features that we have yet to delve into but they are more on the subtle changes. So I just wanted to hit on the main ones that might be useful to the day-to-day -day user. Now, again, if this content was any what helpful to you, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel on your way out. And if you're new or returning, make sure to hit that like button. It's definitely appreciated. As always, thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you in the next one. Peace.